भुवनेश्वर कार्यकर्ता मेरा ओके ओके मोती समाधि याला दैट्स मोती समाधि याला इज अ विलेज एंड एग्जैक्टली वन ईयर अगो एग्जैक्टली वन ईयर अगो many members of parliament from different political parties visited this village of moti samadhiyala and we also from the trinamool congress went there moti samadhiyala is actually 10 kilometers from what is better known now we all know is una you got to drive 10 kilometers from moti, uh, una and then you reach this this is where those seven dalit boys met their fate now I don't want to take up more than one example because thankfully so many of my colleagues before me have given you a so many examples I just want this one example and then I'll get on to the issues now around that time in July last year the then chief minister of Gujarat announced that there would be a fast track court to examine what happened and reach the truth of the seven my direct charge through you sir is why hasn't that special court still been set up this is one example i can give you another 50 examples but the point is sir that is the point about words and action that was one example sir because we are asking the questions but are we asking the right questions the prime minister on june the 29th as we all know he said he said killing people in the name of gau bhakti is not acceptable we all know what happened a few hours later in jharkhand but the question sir is through you let me convey this to the prime minister empty words and generic comments will not work please name the groups name the groups name the individuals name the organizations then we will take you seriously otherwise we are deeply suspicious let's move on that was july 1 the prime minister then let's get to july 2 i have a quote here here's the quote because we are discussing this in all seriousness quote there is no apprehension anywhere in the country who said this this was said by the president of the bjp there is no apprehension anywhere in the country when i last checked he was the president of the bjp in india so if i give him the benefit of the doubt maybe he is referring to fana maybe he is referring to lala land but if this sentence i presume is referring to india then he is living in his own world because he cannot say something like this there is no apprehension anywhere in the country sir i have a problem with this term cow vigilantism it's fine but to be a cow vigilante the person committing the damage you are saying he is a criminal all the examples with the leader of the opposition and everyone has given they are not criminal sir so cow vigilante is a pretty term the real term is cow terrorism sir gao atank this is cow terrorism and i want to build one minute sir i want to build on this argument because this is the exactly the argument which the bjp want they don't want to answer the real questions because once we come to the real questions they don't have the answers sir let me give you an example this morning this morning sir we were asked a question how many people have died this way they passed the message on to the states everything the states will answer the problem is when you have something you are lighting the fire in the states then you want us to use the fire extinguisher and put off the fire sir the issue here is what let me explain to you sir the issue here is what this morning there was a question asked on the saving on lpg cylinders answer given 25000 crores when you want to take the credit then you want to take the credit otherwise you blame the state we looked at that figure sir it is not 25000 crores it's a bjp special 23000 crores out of that 25000 crores is because of the oil prices sir i know this is not an economic discussion but i want to make these points because this is the narrative and everything else sir is a distraction the narrative today is the marginalized those who are under serviced they are not getting they are being killed they are being lynched and there are atrocities against them sir 
Let me move, up, move away from the minorities, the Dalits, to see how this government is also engaging in terrorism against the child. Terrorism against the child, sir. 70% of those who do not have Aadhaar cards today are children below the age of 12. These are the big questions, sir, so all the decoration and the other narrative will not work, sir. And once you don't have these Aadhaar cards, as you know, there are so many problems to do with the ICDS, the midday meal scheme. Sir, the BJP speaker used a very nice term, and my Hindi is not good, but I wrote it down. Khula hai jhoot ki bazaar. Right? Kon khula hai jhoot ki bazaar? They are the champions at it. They have even changed Facebook. We have a lot of love and respect for Facebook. They have made Facebook into fake book. And they made it into an art form. How do they do it, sir? They will first get somebody to post something on Facebook. It will be a morph picture. Then they will get, then they will get people to spread that. Then they will get some of their army to even spread that and they'll unfortunately spread it all over. Let me give you an example. Let me talk about Bengal and Bashirat and Baduria. Let me tell you, one of those pictures where they were showing communal disharmony was shot from Kamila and Bangladesh. And now they've even become more creative. One other picture, I mean, this is serious good creativity, but it's very bad communal inciting. Another picture was shot from a, was taken from a Bhojpuri film and it was put up by the BJP followers. So this is, this is not only followers, these are BJP leaders. So the issue is, we all know that the social media is a free place, it's an expressive place, but this is not, this is not the way to use it, sir. This is not the way to use it. Postcard News, for those of you who follow this, Postcard News is a BJP RSS run website. They've also taken this off, sir. So why am I mentioning this? Because these are all related to small, small incidents. And they have to amplify these incidents. They have to amplify these incidents, sir. This afternoon we've been discussing the marginalized and the pain, the lynching, the suffering they're going through. But what is even more scary is even those who are not so marginalized are being attacked by them. I believe they are indulging in TV terrorism. I believe they are indulging in press terrorism. You either become my mouthpiece or even there are, there are a few very good journalists who are still trying to speak the truth, but they are reckless. They are most of these television channels, two, three, I don't want to name them, and half a dozen newspapers. We know the kind of pressure. These are, these are, not, these are not marginalized. These are, these are powerful media houses. All all are being served from there. It doesn't stop. This is, I don't want to use that word and undermine it, this is a lynching of a different kind. Sir, it doesn't stop there. It goes up to the next level. Political parties, same thing. You either agree with us, if you oppose you, then we tell you National Herald, then we tell you Chidambaram case, then we tell you Narda, then we tell you the CBI, then we tell you the EDI. This will not stop us because these opposition parties will not cow down to your political terrorism. We will not cow down to your political vendetta. Sir, this narrative, I heard what was happening between three and four about faith and words. Can we just leave that narrative out for a moment and let them answer, the finance minister is not here because they've also indulged in financial terrorism, sir. When Mr. Manmohan Singh stood up here and said 2%, everyone went and made a noise. When my colleague Dr. Amit Mitra in Calcutta said after your demonetization, 2% drop, everyone thought, no, please look at the numbers. Look at the numbers, they're down by 1.9%. We want answers to these questions. Do not distract the narrative. Give us the answers to these questions. I make a charge to this government. I make a charge to this government. This is not an economic debate. I make a charge that they are manipulating WPI, CPI data to make the numbers look good. It's a challenge. Let the finance minister come and explain the numbers. I challenge you that these numbers are not, they're not decorated. I'm not using the word decorated. They are manipulated. The, the, the game here is you manipulate the denominators. You manipulate the denominators. Sir, we will come. The question here is now, sir, 
it is going beyond financial terrorism, tax terrorism, after the GST. Who are they lecturing on, uh, on GST? For seven years, they stopped GST. Now they are having midnight reality TV and showing the country, how oh, we are for GST. Trindamool was GST for the last 11 years. And now, sir, economically, whether it's medicines, you've killed the leather industry in Bengal, you've killed the textile industry, my colleague was standing there for many, many minutes. You've had the arrest clause. There are so many, so many, so many. The cow is a three-letter word. There is another three-letter word which I want to dwell on today for just one minute. For just one minute. And that is, the second letter of that word is also an O. It's J-O-B, job. These are the numbers, sir. 25 crore daily wage workers have lost employment. The MSME sector is in a mess. The leather industry in my state is shut down. Auto sales are at a 16-year low. 40% drop in FMCG. Second hand car sales, sir, it becomes zero. And let's not talk about the closure of power looms in Maharashtra. Sir, these are the hard numbers. Reality show here at midnight will not work. The country wants the answer to these numbers, sir. Sir, we've spoken. Sir, we've spoken about GST. We are all for GST. But we were not for this rushed GST. Sir, there's another issue. That is what is bothering me. The BJP and its ministers, they say one thing. The Prime Minister says one thing. In the evening something happens. At least the BJP president is consistent. He says one thing and then on that line he goes do 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 do. Whatever that means. You understood, sir. I will tell you. I will, I will tell you. I, I will tell you. The day I start interpreting the BJP president's statements, I better, I, I, let me, let me, let me tell you, let me tell you, one thing is, one thing is certain, you are welcome to come to Bengal, we will show you and give you a class on development and communal harmony and polarization will never happen in Bengal, but that's an aside, that's an aside, that's an aside, listen, 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 listen. I'm no, no, no. There, there is no cabinet minister. I have no problem. I have no problem because if there is no cabinet minister. I have no problem. There is only one minister. And does anybody else matter? But anyway, sir. Sir. It's okay. No, no, no. I'm glad, I'm glad the Minister of Health has come in at the appropriate time because we were just talking about after GST how the prices of medicines have gone up and now that I have the attention of the Minister of Health I also want him to, I also want him to uh, examine and explore the great concept of giving free medicine to the underprivileged, to the poor, to the underserved which we are doing with great success in Bengal. It's a good model to follow so think about it. Right. So, we were... Who has given this government? I know yesterday they said so arrogantly, and Mayavati, when Mayavati, Mayavati ji was here, we have a mandate. What do you have a mandate for? To govern the country. To lynch the people. To lynch the people. See, sir, when to the ministers the when the ministers become little pipsqueaks, then it becomes a problem. Let me speak without interruption. For those of you who understand the politics of Bengal better, the only way to get noticed in Bengal is when you take on the Trinamool. So, good attempt. Okay. Uh, so, let us, let us stay on this issue, sir. Yesterday, in, in all arrogance, they brought this issue up that we have a mandate when Banji Mayavati was speaking. What do you have a mandate for? Do you have a mandate to do what you are doing to children with the terrorism of the child and not giving them their food because of your Aadhaar card? Do you... Do you have a mandate? Do you have a man? Do you have a mandate to indulge in political vendetta and terrorism? Who has given you a mandate to indulge in digital terrorism and make Facebook into a fake book? Who has given you a mandate to indulge in this kind of GST which is hurting farmers? Who has given you a mandate? 80, 120 farmers discuss. We are going to be discussing this next week. Who has given them a mandate, sir? Who has given them a mandate to take away my privacy? The Minister of IT 
in the last session assured this house that everyone's privacy data given on those Aadhaar cards is private. Those, num those numbers, my personal details, my health details are available today. Who has given them the mandate? Yes, you have a mandate and there is a mandate and that mandate is works within a framework. Sir, in this great nation of ours, where we are, what, 25, 27 days away from our 70th anniversary, I thought of a story which I read in school. It was a simple story which most of us have probably heard. But to me, that is a great example of 300 years ago when Guru Gobind Singh was trying to escape and he had to disguise himself. He was held, I remember this was class 5 or class 6, he was held by two men, Nabi Khan and Ghani Khan. And they disguised him as a peer. And that's how Guru Gobind Singh escaped. And if Nabi Khan and Ghani Khan got caught, then they would have been in trouble. So 20, 20, 25 days before, these are the great issues, sir, we should be discussing. Because this is a country, sir, which has this. And in the last three years, no matter what attempt is made by this BJP government to change this country, sir, we will not allow it. Because I have grown up in Calcutta in a Hindu majority locality named after a Muslim. It's called Jamir Lane. And we are a Christian family. Let no one ever try to destroy this, sir. Marginalized, not marginalized, Nobody must destroy this. And we, Mamtadi, the Trinamool Congress, and we, we appeal to all the opposition parties here. Mr. Yachuri spoke before me, Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad spoke, the SP spoke, the BSP spoke, everyone. We will get together, sir, to GST. Growing strong together. Thank you. Thank you. The next speaker is... Uh...